Yoli, killing me. <laughs> so sweet, Yoli. So look, um, number one, thank you guys, everybody, for being here. You know, this party was two weeks ago, and it got moved to tonight, and I really, really, really appreciate it. <laughs> everybody pivoting over to, to be able to come out here you know, tonight, two weeks later. So thank you. And the weather's been amazing. Oh my God. And we so, love you, Kevin. Uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and, um, you know, Stephen Yoli, I don't know. You, look, you guys should have parties here because this place is freaking <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Killer party. You, you, I like rent this out. I don't know, for weddings or like, it's killer, man. Oh, my sister and Mal are for hire. <laughs> Great, 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 great job. They're fantastic. Thank you so much. And man, how cool is that to have Frida's Pizza here? Man, that was yeah, outstanding. So thank good. you so much. I didn't have any of the Mexican food, but I filled up on the pizza, so thank you. It was really, really good. So thank you. So look, you know, I, I, I'm, it's like 27 pages, but I'm going to try to go through it. But, you know, I've been working a long time. So, you know, now that I'm retired, you start thinking about, you know, I've been working since, I don't know, man, I think I was starting to work when I was like seven years old. <laughs> Literally, Mrs. Marks, I was taking Mrs. Marks trash cans in for 25 cents a week over on Tilden Avenue a long, 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 long time ago. And uh, that was like my first paying job. I washed cars in the neighborhood. Uh, we would take these frozen pizzas and heat them up in our ovens and, and sell them to the neighbors and bring it to their house, washing their cars, all that stuff. Um, I was like a plumber's assistant. I was a, you know, a painter's assistant, like you know, sanding and prepping houses for painting, crazy stuff like that. I worked at a fiberglass factory in Santa Ana for one summer. It's a brutal freaking job. I mean, I had to get up like at six in the morning. I would literally would have to pull over off the side of the freeway and take a nap on the way home. It was like the most brutal job. Thanks again for that one, Dad. <laughs> really, really, you know, I remember my mom said, you know, you need, you need a little more discipline in your life. You really need more discipline. I'm like, this is like freaking brutal. I mean, you might die on the way home, but you know, anyways. But, but I did all that. I worked on a, a driving range, like driving that cart around and then getting out of the cart and knocking the balls away from the fence, you know, at the at Rancho Park a long time ago. People hitting balls at you in the cart? Oh, unbelievable. As soon as you get out. It's like, like and I remember, I, mean, I would get hit and I'd go up and I'd see the guy and I'm like, you know, when you that ball hits me, it hurts, man. Like, it hurts, dude. You know, what are you thinking? You know, you dumbass, right? My filters are gone. I don't, I don't have work filters, HR filters. Um, my first, one of my first jobs, my sister Nancy Jean got me at Lucky Market over on, right? And Lucky Market, I worked at Lucky Market. What's that? Oh God, oh my God, I forgot about the spider. It's unbelievable. Like, there's a lot of stories, I can't go there. I can't go there. But I worked at Lucky Market, Nancy got me that job, and I did that when I was in college, and it was a great job. I worked uh, a long time. Hey, Nancy. Pardon? Everybody loves my sister Nancy. Man. Where's Melissa? Right there. She's like, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, but my, my first job out of college, this guy right over here, Norm Modulin, really, really, really had, I'm sure, a very heavy hand in getting me a job at Grant Thornton. Uh, public, it was Alexander Grant and Company at the time, and it became Grant Thornton in and, and a CPA firm. And... Um, you know, I don't know at what point, you know, that you've known somebody that they've been part of the family that, <laughs> please hold, that, that they go from brother-in-law to brother, but I think 45 years qualifies. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Yeah. Well, but 45 years married, oh, married. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm talking about the first time you guys had intercourse, so. <laughs> September 3rd, 1978. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. It had to be right then. So that was the first time. Uh, anyway, my sister Denise was like Nancy, totally pure until they got married. 
Anyways, let's move on. So, so while I was at this company called Grant Thornton, I worked on a lot of banks, and you know, this one bank had they held mortgage-backed securities, and it was like, what the hell is a mortgage-backed security? It was Western Bank of Commerce in West in Westwood, and um, I'm like, what the heck are those things, mortgage-backed securities? Well. Whatever it was, that that ended up becoming, oh, you know, Kevin, he knows mortgage banking, you know, so I started working on these mortgage banking, and I got on the Countrywide Audit, and uh, in 1986, I was on the Countrywide Audit, and then, um, yeah, oh, yeah, no, it was a great company, and uh, if anybody's had a freaking problem with Countrywide <laughs> Take it down a little bit, but um, but but I was working on this audit, and uh, my second year on the audit, this guy named Steve Phillips, right over here, that dude right there, that guy right there, he was he was the corporate controller, and I was working on the audit uh, for for uh, for Grant Thornton, and he said, hey man, you want to get together? And I thought, oh dude, I'm not that. <laughs> like I like I like women, and, uh, and he's like no 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 so do I but whatever you know let's get together anyways. I mean you look at the guy and you think well yeah, you know, it's like a possibility. Hey I'm here by myself. <laughs> but um, but so so that was one of the trivia questions. So he's like hey let you know let's get let's get together and like go have a have a drink. So we go to. Monterey Bay Canners is over in Northridge on Tampa. It's not there anymore. He comes back to the table with a six pack of beer in a little, uh, like a, like a, like a, like a little bucket with ice in it, six Coronas. And I'm like, eh, I can work for this guy. <laughs> so we, we have beer, and I don't even know if we ate, we might have nacho, whatever it was. But we had we had six beers and total three each. You know, and. Um, Anyways, I was like, yeah, this is this guy I could work for, for sure. And um, my second interview was with a guy named Carlos Garcia. And, uh, yeah, oh yeah, Oros, Oros. Yeah, talk like that. Um, zero personality, zero sensitivity. Uh, and Kevin Bartlett, basically the same thing. But that was at the Pepper Mill right across the street. Again, it was like a, like a bar. So... Yeah, remember the Pepper Mill, right? Great place. So, you know, I got a job, and it was yeah, pretty pretty easy interviews. Although Carlos did ask me about the like the one like constant in a present value calculation, and I really didn't know the answer. I didn't know what he was talking about. But uh, anyways, he hired me anyway. Steve probably said, "Yeah, and he's a really good guy." So, um, so, so I, I managed. I came in, and I won't tell the whole story about my first day of work because it's a long story. But if we're here for cigars later, and we have a few more cocktails, I'll tell it. It's pretty damn funny. But, um, but I had accounts payable, and so people had to come up to me and bring, you know, like, where's Brian Anderson? Brian Anderson. Yay! People like Brian Anderson and Carl Hogan would bring, like, check requests to me. And, but there was this one girl that was very different from all the other people that would bring things to me. And uh, where's Jennifer? <laughs> and it was... It's like, oh yeah, she's pretty hot. So I, would, <laughs> so I was like asking a lot of questions about, you know, the track request that she had. It was very, it was very in depth. A lot of questions, and trying to spend as much time with her as possible. But, but anyways, I remembered her. I remembered her. And over the next several months, it was like, yeah, that girl's pretty hot. And, and I remember, you know, back back in those days, they had like when you had like uh, Halloween parties. People would come dressed as stuff and you only, you know, oh, whoa, you, you know right? <laughs> but I mean, Jennifer came as like a cave, a cave girl on Halloween. It was like, she had this like club and just whatever. It was like, oh my God. Like, <laughs> Pretty, and by pretty, the way, pretty by impressive. The way, and, well, I was running human resources by then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. that, that was that our matters. dark period in our relationship. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, uh, but yeah, but but this, but anyway. So then I ended up working. I was working in finance. I went over to service. It's a long story about my career. But it's like twenty-seven more pages. So I'll be okay. But um, but I, I came over. I got hired by Richard DeLeo and Tom Boone and. 
Richard Aleo was a guy I worked for, and, and, and you can, when you work for somebody, you know there are things that you can learn from somebody, no matter who they are, right? You can learn what to do and what not to do. And there were so many things from Richard I learned not to do. I mean, just amazing, like, I mean, God, there's so many stories. I can't even go there. But, but anyhow, I was working in loan servicing, but, but I, but that girl Jennifer was working in loan servicing, and she was never, never, ever, ever one time in any of my organizations. She never worked for me. And, and in fact, if there was any opportunity that they were asking about people, I would like, I would like abstain from assessment when Jennifer was like, you know, I really would. I, would, I, I was pretty good about that, you know. But, but anyway, she never worked for me. But, but, you know, I started asking Jen out, and it was like, it was like pulling teeth. And I mean, I went, I went, I tried. I was, it got, it got to a point where I was literally pestering her, and. You know, I was using everything. I went, I went to my, I, I, everything was out there. The vanilla ice cream story, like, you know, but you know, when you have ice cream and you have vanilla ice cream, and vanilla ice cream is really, really good. And if you have vanilla ice cream all the time, it's like, oh, vanilla ice cream is amazing. But then, you gotta try the chocolate. You gotta try the strawberry ice cream. And, you know, I know you like the vanilla, but... You should try the Neapolitan. It's really fantastic. And I really think that's what got her over the edge. Because you know, I'm pretty good at that. So anyways, Jennifer and I started seeing each other. And she finally went out with me. And we got married in 96. So we got the 20, 20 But I was old. I was an old guy already. I was already old. I mean, it was, it was, I was old. So literally 11 months after we got married, Robert was born. <laughs> 11 months after that. Yeah. That shit happened fast. Man. <laughs> and, then, and then, like 28 months later, two years and four months, beautiful Pammy. <laughs> and then, kaboom. <laughs> 14 months later, beautiful Ryan was born. Yeah. But you know what? You got to get moving when you're old, right? You got to get moving when you're old. And, and, uh, but, you know, I, and, and, you know, one of the things that, uh, you know, Robert said, and it's true, I, and, you know, I would, whether it was coaching, whether it was going to games, whether it was, I was a videographer at the soccer games, which, by the way, I think I loved doing more than anything, because I was, like, commentating. And was, like, What's better than that? I mean, I don't know. You get me in front of a mic, I don't know, I heard that that's a problem. So. But, um, but, you know, this, this guy, Brian White, told me, and his, here's where I start to get emotional, you know, Brian told me a long time ago, long, long time ago, we were at Countrywide, and I don't I, I can't remember what it was, but we were talking about, like, hey, I got I to gotta take off early, I got to go to my kids, uh, you know, Taylor's football practice or football game or whatever it was, and, and Brian said something like, you know, when you retire and when you hang it all up, please hold, Aww. you're, you're not, <laughs> Don't egg me on. Don't egg me on. Don't egg me on. Kevin. When you retire, you're never going to look back and go, you know, I wish I would have worked like more hours. That's right. I wish I would have worked like, you know, I wish I would have, you know, worked overtime or a couple more weekends. But you will remember that you missed that soccer game or that baseball game. Yeah. Time out, yeah. time out, time out. Yeah. But, but you know what? It, it's like, Brian, I tell you what, so right. So, so right. You told me that. You remember telling me that? I don't. <laughs> but you know what? It, it, it was going to be the point of Bill. I was all about the overtime. It was Brian White for sure. It was absolutely freaking Brian White all day long. <laughs> So, so, oh, I've lost my place here, but anyways, I had a lot of jobs, bottom line. I worked at Global Home Loans for a couple years, that was amazing, and Jen's mom helped make that happen, because she went with us, and the kids were like babies, um, 
a, you know, Bank of America, I was there for seven years, crazy. Um, but one day, I was driving Ryan, I was driving to one of Ryan's soccer games over in Verdugo Hills or wherever the hell it was out by Burbank. And I get a call from this guy, Steve Bailey. And Steve calls me, that dude right there, that guy right there. He calls me up and he says, hey, I want to talk to you about an opportunity at Penny Mac. And literally, I like, hey, I got to I gotta pull off the freeway. You know, I'm getting a little emotional here. Because, you know, I was waiting for the freaking call. For the <laughs> <laughs> All my friends over there. I wonder what those guys are doing today. <laughs> over at Bank of America working for these freaking people. I don't even know who they are. <laughs> I got all my friends are at Penny Mac. It's like, God, maybe one day I can work there. And I did get a call from Steve, and it was like, it was very, very, very emotional for me. And Steve said, Hey, you know, we got a, we got an opportunity, and and we want to bring you in. And so um, he and I, another very, you know, it's a grueling. I mean, the, the interview process I've been through in my career, <laughs> grueling. So this one was at the Tilted Kilt. In, uh, <laughs> In Thousand Oaks. <laughs> I'm sitting there. Yeah, 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 a lot of people are giving me a problem. It gets a little distracting. You know, the squirrel thing. I'm not supposed to anyway, but it's the whole thing. What the hell are they wearing? Steve, what? I haven't retired yet, too. <laughs> Literally, the tilted kilt, where they're wearing little kilts, and there's and then there's live off, you know, off-track horse racing. Vince, you know what I'm talking about. Brian, you know what I'm talking about. John Tone, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, nobody. Yeah, my, yeah, totally kill it. Maybe it's in my bag. Maybe I dropped it. But, but anyways, that was my interview. And then, and then the next interview was Steve said, "Hey, you know, Stan wants to meet with you." So, okay. So I came in, and they kind of bring me in the back door because they had it was like hush hush, and it was like this stealth mission. <laughs> and I go up to Stan's suite, which was. It wasn't an office. It was like it was like a, like the quadrant of the building. It was like this beautiful area, and I go in there, and Stan is there, and David Spector are there, and I go to shake their hands, and these guys gave me the biggest bear loving hugs. It was just, you know, it was, you know, pretty welcoming. It was coming home, and. Um, and you know, and I don't remember. I think David Spector's memory of my relationship with him is different than mine. Because I never liked him very much at all, and I don't think I liked him very much. But whatever, you know, the parallel universes. He was like the biggest hug I could imagine. It was it was great, and and totally felt at home. And we talked for a while, but I don't know what the hell I said. But yeah, you know, but they ended up hiring me, and and then I started there, in. Um, June of 15, this is a long freaking history of my uh, works, I apologize, it's going to get faster after this, I promise. But um, when I started, it was uh, Vince Ganji, where's Vinny? Vince Ganji, this guy over here, John Toe. Where's Brian White? And I know Tim Nicholson has left. Tim, Tim. You know, Vince, Vince, after that, retired and was re replaced by Angela Hess, which was a great hire for me. And then when Tim, re Tim retired, uh, the other Angela, well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, everyone who leaves, you're going to be replaced by Angela. <laughs> so, I'll tell you what, I, did, I was walking with open arms, and it was a very loving thing, and just it couldn't have been better. I mean, you guys really accepted me, and I appreciated it, and I appreciate it. You know, and it was it was great. My time at Penny Mac was wonderful, and um, so now about my dad. So this is where it's going to be tough for me. You got this. 
Please hold. Of course you <laughs> <I> do. <laughs> Pineapple. Old fashioned. Pineapple. Pineapple. <laughs> That's my safe word. Um, okay, I have to thank my mom and dad for all the positive support. I mean, you guys ever heard of this thing called the halo effect? When you tell your child, like, oh, you're really smart, or, you know, you're, you're really handsome, or you know, you're really going to be, or your IQ is so off the charts, and all that stuff. Well, they never told me that. No, but, never, no, but it was, it was that, it was, it was, it was pretty crazy. So, you know, you start thinking about, it's like, kind of like, slightly below average height, right? Slightly <laughs> a little chubby, advanced male pattern baldness. <laughs> but you think about a guy like me and you go, God, the guy's kind of confident, right? He's a little crazy, like overconfident for a dude. I mean, look at the guy, you know, and, and that's my mom and dad. That's totally my mom and dad and my sisters and just the loving environment that I was raised in, you know, because it's well, you have no reason to be that confident, dude. <laughs> but, it's, but, it, but it is true. And um, anyways, that, that was the environment that we grew up in that mom and dad created for us, right? For all of us. It was great. So my dad was always focused on education and, and learning. And we sat at that freaking table in the dining room doing math problems all the time. And, you know, and... You know, one of the things my dad, it was a big deal for my dad, you know, for us to do well in school, always. And, um, you know, one of the things they did, and I'm sure it was my dad's idea, was if we got an A, I mean, for, he was elementary school, junior high, high school, he would give us 20 bucks every time we got an A. And it was really, just kidding, guys. It was only... <laughs> Didn't answer, didn't answer. It was it was ten bucks, just like that. Whoops. No, no, truth be told, it was a dollar. Right? A dollar? Yeah, it was a dollar. We got a dollar for every egg. I thought that was funny. Right? Anyways, um, can you imagine being at your retirement? event, your retirement dinner, your retirement party, and having your dad there? Yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable. I mean, I am so blessed, right? I mean, it's unbelievable. I love you so much, but... All right, pineapple. Finally. Um, you know, I, I, I've said it already, and... This last page, and like last seventeen pages are going to be really tough. <laughs> you know, I've had a great run. You know, all the people that I've met during my career, and 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 you know, and, and there's a lot of people here that I love. I mean, I love you all, but 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 you know, my four best friends are here, right? And I met them all. You know, working. Kevin. <laughs> so, so I mentioned this knucklehead Steve Phillips, that dude over there, that guy. I met him 37 years ago, and he's been a great, 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 I, I love you, great friend for a very, very long time until the day we die, man. Um, take care of yourself, by the way. <laughs> I want it to be a very long time, buddy. <laughs> You know, this guy over here, where's Brian White? Yeah. Yeah. Brian White in 1996, and uh, we've just been great, great friends. I love you. One day. Love you too, buddy. You yeah. know, and, and that, that knucklehead right there. Steve. Which <laughs> one? You know, when you, when you finally started seeing Yoli, I mean, I, I, liked, I, li I liked you a lot. I liked you a lot before that. When you and Yoli got together, and Jennifer and Yoli, and Jennifer and Yoli were such good friends. It, it really is true, and I, you know. But, but um, when you guys got together, you know, and, and the time we spent together is wonderful. And, and we're going to spend a lot more time together for yeah. many, many years to come, guys. But then, pineapple. <laughs> so 
so nice. <laughs> to my bestest friend, my partner, my mate, my mate, my mate, right? My mentor is Jennifer. For She's my mentor too. Uh, right, right, right. She's yeah. She's our mentor. Um, for the past 27 years, we've been married and we've been together longer than that. But Jennifer is just wonderful. She, you know, I mean, who else would like? Hey, retirement's coming up. Let's let's go to Dodger Spring training in March. And it's like what? Look at so much going on. It's like amazing. And we go and, and maybe. And maybe we can get a play around the golf. She can name all the all the infield and outfield starting position for the Dodgers. It's not fair. You're failing as a mentor. So so so. A little, little humor in here, and hopefully I don't piss Jen off, because you know what can happen then. Is she looking at me right now? So, 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 for the past 27 years, Jen has been, you know, making me better, right? I mean, a lot of constructive feedback for the most part. Like, you know, like things when, you know, when you do things, it's like, you know, maybe next time you shouldn't really do that, right? Or, you know, I would have handled that a little differently. Maybe, you know, next time you want to try something different. But, and so I've always thought, you know, when I die, I will be freaking perfect. <laughs> because of all that great feedback I've been getting from Jen, you know, my whole life. I mean, I... I, I, you know, it's like I'm, I'm heading in that direction. I'm gonna be perfect when I die. But, 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 now that I'm retired, I mean, she's got 50 more hours a week with me. Right? 50 more hours a week. Can you imagine? Can you imagine the molding and the with me? Okay, so the way I look at it, I'm like 10 years ahead of schedule. I mean, way ahead of schedule. So, you know, I think, and maybe more, hopefully more. But I think by the time I hit 70, maybe 75, maybe 80, I don't know. I'm going to be there. But now there might be some new bad habits I develop between now and then. But anyways, honey, I'll let you see. So, um... Just a couple quick things, you know, I've, I've uh, some things I'm trying to, you know, people have asked you, so what are you going to do when you retire now? So I've been thinking about a couple, right, what are you going to do? And I'm thinking about a few things, and, and one of them is like, I don't know, like Walmart, I, I know I can do that job. There's those guys and like, hey, welcome to Walmart. I know I can be that guy. I know, and, and like, hey, welcome to Walmart. Ladies Cosmetics, it's aisle 47. <laughs> back. I think I could do that. The other one that I know I would be great at, because I've had a lot of experience in this, a lot of experience in this is, um, you know, hey, sir, can, you, can you guys move up, move, you know, keep up the pace with the group of heavy? For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. For sure. Getting kind of warm here. Please hold. So, so, so Irene and Paolo, last thing is, um, you guys see this from the back, and, you know, it's, um, it's one of my retirement gifts that I got, maybe you can hold this here, but, but you know what, Robbie, where are you, buddy? There you go, buddy. There you go. How's that? How's that? Right there, baby. The only, the only thing is, he's missing the word fucking. And you know what? Now that I'm retired, I can say that because human resources are not going to be a problem, right? Not a problem at all. Not my problem. <laughs> Love you all. I mean, how cool is it to come to a party where everybody here, and I picked you all to be able to be here. It's like the best freaking party. <laughs> everybody that's here, I, you were, I picked you. So I'm not at somebody else's party. This is my freaking party. <laughs> Thank you all. I love you all.